if she gives you like little playful taps, like when she's laughing, or you know, let's say you're on your phone and she like taps the phone off you, she tries to tap the screen or anything like that. Anything where she's putting herself into your personal bubble. So, have you ever been on a date with a girl and wondered to yourself, am I gonna smash tonight? Am I gonna get laid? Well, this is a video for you, so stick around, cause I need the watch time. This is how you're gonna know if a girl is seducing you, if a girl wants to sleep with you. These are just some basic signs to look out for. Number one, if the girl is agreeing to spend alone time with you, so it's just the two of you together, and it's specifically in a private area, so for example, she goes back to your place or you go back to her place, there's a very good chance that she does want to sleep with you. You've got to understand it like this. Women aren't stupid and they know what it means when you go back to a guy's place. If it's just the two of you on your own, she's a girl, she's vulnerable, she's probably smaller than you, she's probably not as strong as you. Anything could happen. There's always the potential that that girl could get raped or assaulted. But she knows that if she goes into that kind of situation, that she's putting herself in danger. If she is doing that, knowing the consequences, it's kind of obvious what she wants. She wants you to put your dick in it. But you've got to understand as well. Let's say you're really good friends with her. She talks about other guys. That's like a big sign that she's not into you. If you've established that kind of friendship with a girl, you're basically friend zone, and she might still agree to spend time with you because she knows she's safe with you and she knows that you're not going to have sex. In that situation, her spending alone time with you probably isn't going to mean anything. So just keep that in mind. If a girl is prepared to be in very close proximity to you, if she's in that personal bubble, that personal space area, she's prepared to be in tight spaces with you, that's a good sign as well. Like I said, she's putting herself in a position of vulnerability and if she doesn't like a guy she's not going to get close to him she's not going to give him the impression that she wants to sleep with him she's not going to try and close the distance between you so if a girl doesn't like you she's going to keep herself fairly apart she's going to keep at least a meter apart from you because she doesn't want you to get the wrong idea now this is a big one and it's that she touches you if she gives you like little playful taps like when she's laughing or let's say you're on your phone and she like taps the phone off you she tries to tap the screen or anything like that anything where she's putting herself into your personal bubble where she's making contact with you and it's not just you touching her then yeah there's a very good chance that she wants to have sex with you touch is very important for the release of oxytocin and certain chemicals that will turn a girl on and if she's doing that it means she's trying to get closer to you she's trying to break that touch barrier establish a more sexual connection with you she's trying to generate more of that sexual chemistry so if she's touching you that's a really good sign if she's making very strong eye contact with you let's say she's looking at you like this very intently and she's going she wants to fuck. She wants you to take her upstairs right now. If you're in that situation, go for it. I'll just lead her to the bedroom. She'll either say yes or she'll say no. She'll try to get your attention. So let's say you're on your phone, you're scrolling through Facebook or maybe you're watching a YouTube video while you're with her. Well, see, the thing is, women don't like being ignored. If they want to have sex with you, what they're going to do is they might not make the first move, but they're going to try and get closer to you. As I've already said, they're going to try to do certain things to get you to notice them, get you to question what they're doing or something like that so that you can get closer to them so that you can notice their little body language signals they're giving you to signify that they're turned on, that they want you to take her to the bedroom. What she might do is when you're on your phone, she'll try and tap out your hand or she'll try and annoy you really. <laughs> she'll try and like wind you up or something but don't worry it's only playful and it's all about creating that sexual chemistry and finally she's going to suggest to go to your place or go to her place if she's the one making the suggestions then you just know for a fact if she wants to spend that alone time with you and she's the one that's initiating things she's the one saying let's do this so let's go back to mine she probably does want it make sure you subscribe cost nothing we're at 31 subscribers at the moment make sure you keep the likes coming make sure you keep the comments coming and make sure you join my facebook group as well because we need more members man men's self-improvement link in description so that's all i'm gonna say about that